Welcome to All-Star Action, everyone. Kevin Harlan, happy to be here with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Tonight, it's the Mountain Dew three-point contest. You'll get to see the best three-point marksmen showing everyone what they've got. And unlike the dunk contest, very few judging controversies in this competition. The scoring system is pretty straightforward. Well, it's right there. We talk about this league being a make-or-miss league. Well, this is a make-or-miss competition. We're going to see who's going to heat it up tonight. And so we'll see. Lights out. Five racks with two balls stationed out deep in the do zone. 70 seconds to shoot 27 shots in all. Now, the do balls are worth three points. The money balls are worth two. The rest are worth one. And each shooter picks a rack of all money balls. And so now you're thinking about strategy. Do, do you put that money ball rack last? Because you're all warmed up and it is only 22 feet away. So you cannot afford to waste any time. Nine. Ten. Eleven points total. UG. L-Y, he just can't get anything going. Misses with the first two ball. That's 14. 15 points now. 16 so far. Four straight hits. He's behind on the clock. He needs to pick up the pace here. Two racks to go. Misses for the fourth straight time. Off the mark with five in a row now. Yeah, he's struggling right now. Can't cash in on the money ball. And he's at 18. Ran out of time on the money rack. He tallies 18 points. Hey, guys, an impressive showing from him in that one. Here we go with Damian Lillard. The competitors have 70 seconds to work through five racks of five and two long balls. Those are worth three points apiece. Money balls are worth two points apiece. The rest are worth one point. And one rack of all money balls at a location selected by the shooter. Interesting to see where they station it. Most shooters have a certain spot on the floor they favor. Eight. Now, this is an unpleasant start. Two ball town. 12. Makes it 13. He's at 14. Nearly perfect there. Just one miss on the rack. Up to 17 now. 18. One rack to go here. Well, he's moving on, and he's on top. And he ends up posting 21 for the round. He had his shot on automatic. That's why he's in this contest. And he knocked down five out of the nine money balls. Pretty good. 21. And so we'll see Buddy healed. That's four misses in a row. Comes away from the rack with zero points. And 0 oh for 5 on that rack. That's 1 and 2. Now we're talking. That's his fourth straight bucket. Three bad racks in a row. Really tough to recover now. That's 6. Got to get the pace going or he might not make it through the racks. One for two from the do zone. That's 12. 13. Drains the money ball. Up to 17 now. So, his final tally is 19 points. He went out there and knocked him down. A terrific round. And any time it looked like he was starting to get into a good rhythm, he would just as quickly fall out of it. And now he's in second place all by himself. And so here's Thompson. And as you work your way through the rags, how much calibration are you doing 
from one shot to the next. I think it's a great point. That's part of it. I mean, this is why guys shoot better from the free throw line on their second attempt. There's been studies about that. So a little short on that last one. Get it over the rim, son. Eight points is all he needs. That's four misses in a row. He needs eight points more. 11 points total. Makes it 13. Goes one of two on the Jew ball. One more to stay alive. One wreck remaining. One more to stay alive. No good on his sixth consecutive shot. Tied for second. So his final tally is 19 points. Looked like he was having fun out there, and his score reflects it. Yeah, ran up a streak there of six consecutive misses at one point. That's putting yourself in a big hole. So it's Devin Booker now. And to stay in this thing, he's going to need 19. And if he shoots well, he should be in good shape. Misses on the money ball. Four. Five. Six. Yeah, tough time getting going right now. Eight points is all he needs. Six more points to stay here. Up to 15. Up to 17 now. He needs two more to stay within reach. Two more points to stick around. And he's at 18. Just one wreck to go. One more to stay alive. And that's going to be good enough for second place. That's a tie. He collected a total of 21 points. An outstanding round. He looked very comfortable. Yeah, he just needed to get warmed up a little bit in that round. And he got his misses out of the way early and then caught fire. Yeah, matches the best score of the night. So we'll see LeBron James. He knows exactly what score will get him into the next round. And you know, sometimes it can surprise you how different a shooter looks here in the contest. Uh, many guys are accustomed to shooting in the floor of a game and have to adapt to being under the spotlight like this. Yeah, who, who's passing to you? Yo, where's the rhythm coming from? I got to run over to this rack and pick up this ball and... This one's got a bunch of colors on it. It's so much different, so practicing this event goes a long, long way. Oh, he's got to finish strong here. Eight. And that's a wrap for him. Won't be able now to advance. Even if he were to make all of the rest. Yeah, a little bit depressing at this point, but uh, he'll make the best of it. He gets to the 10-point mark for the round. There was just something off about him in that round. And he struggled with his deep range, but those do balls falling off the mark. And if you ask me, he was lucky to win the tiebreaker with that score. Yeah, that's not his best work, but he did just enough. And that's what matters. And so we'll see Buddy Heald. 35 seconds in the tiebreaker round. A quick release is advantageous. He's got two. Three. His fourth in a row. Five for five from that rack. Seven. Oh. He's getting cold. Five consecutive misses. Struggling. He's at eight points. Nine points is what he finishes with. And so here's Thompson. 35 seconds back on the clock. Pressure's on. Can he beat that score? Yeah, doesn't need to do much here to get past that mark. One. And that whole rack, that was tough. That's four misses in a row. Off the mark with five in a row now. He's got two. 
gets the money ball. Seven. Eight. He's sitting at just nine points as the round comes to a close. And so we'll see Buddy Heald. He's got 35 seconds to launch as many shots as he can. There's his first. Drains the money ball. Four. That makes five. Seven. He's at eight points. Nine points is what he finishes with. So it's Clay Thompson now. He knows the number to beat. 35 seconds to work. Here we go. He doesn't need much. He has to feel confident here. And two. Four. Can't sink the money ball there. Five. Six. Far from his best effort. Misses for the fourth straight time. At seven. He's at eight points. He closes out the round with eight points. And so we'll see Buddy Heald. He's got to improve on his score from the last round if he wants to have a shot to win it. And the money balls, man. Such a huge factor in determining who wins this event. Oh, you know the value of those things. And if you feel that thing get wet, you know you got a chance to advance. That was a good rack for him. Yikes. Can't get the money ball to fall. Comes up empty on his sixth straight. The wheels are coming off at seven straight misses. And now really starting to get cold. Ten straight misses. What's happening to him? Going too slow here. He needs to dial it up. One for two from the do zone. Ten. Eleven. Misses on the money ball. 12. That's 13. He comes away with a total score of 15. Well, a very respectable performance from him there, guys. 15 points now. So it'll be Damian Lillard here. And so the high score is 15. Can he do one better? One. And two. Can't sink the money ball there. Three points now. Four. Five for him now. Eight more points to tie it up. Got to get hot. Seven more points and he'll tie it up. Nine points for him right now. Need five for the tie. Can't cash in on the money ball. Goes one of two on the two ball. Two more to tie it up. Fifteen. Only one rack left. Eighteen. 19 total points now. He's now hit 20. He racks up 20 points in the round. Hey, guys, an impressive showing from him in that one. And he made three out of nine money balls, missing out on a lot of extra points.
So it'll be Devin Booker here. Here we go. This is it. He led all qualifiers. Now, can he emerge victorious in the finals? And you don't often see shooters run out of time in this event. But still, not a lot of time to waste. Yeah, this isn't like the dunk contest where you got time to hype up the crowd or bring out a gimmick. You got time on the clock. It's counting down, and you better get through it. He's hit both money balls. Three racks in a row and just hasn't had his number. Six. Seven. Starting to heat it up. A three-point rack for him right there. There's nine. And that will about do it for him. Yes, it will. Just too little, too late. And officially, this one is over. He got 14 points in that round. And that concludes the Mountain Dew three-point contest. Another good one. As we give you our winner, Damian Lillard. And guys, this is always a highlight of the All-Star Weekend. No surprise to see another great event. And I think this is the one where the skills are so close in terms of what guys can do with the basketball shooting it that it's the most competitive event we have at the weekend. And that's what makes it so fun to watch. And we saw some tremendous shooting. The point contest always worth watching. And we thank you for being with us. So now, for Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and myself, Kevin Harlan, we'll see you next time.